As you can see, I've made some major changes to the track piece. So now we have a flat track piece, and this is going to allow for better buoyancy and surface contact on sand. I'm going to come to my tread piece itself because I want to make some changes to the surface to allow for more grip on sand. Now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on the surface and I'm going to create a sketch, new sketch. And from here I'm going to come to create and I want to come down to my polygon. And the polygon that I want to choose is an edge polygon. And here where it says edge number, just type in three, and that's going to give you a triangle. So now I have this triangle, and if I click on one of the sides, I can make it horizontal. And I can also choose to pattern it. So I can come to rectangular pattern, I can select this entire object, and I can click on this line for the direction. When I drag out, you're going to see that the triangles follow. Now before we do this, let's just set a quick dimension here on one of the sides. And I'm going to dimension this to be, let's say, a half, a uh, eighth inch, 0.125. And now I can, I can actually also fully constrain it. But let's come to create. And we're going to come to Rectangular Pattern. I'm going to select this whole object. And if I move this out, I can choose Spacing for the Distance Type. And I'm going to make this the same exact dimension. So I'm going to type in negative 0.125. And the great thing about this is I could just bump up the quantity. And when I bump up the quantity, you see that I have more triangles. And the more triangles I have, um, the more I can pattern along the surface. Now, for the direction type, I can also choose to make this symmetric, like I just did. Makes it a little bit easier to estimate how many you need. Now, we can also just make enough that it passes um, both sides. So, I'm going to hit OK. And now we have all of these triangles. But one thing I want to do is I want to delete um, this bottom line. And doing so will break some constraints, but that's fine. And so now, what we can do is create an offset. And when you create an offset, you're going to see that the triangles begin to connect to each other. And you can also just, you can just keep going across to select all of these, um, which is going to be important. But we don't want it to be 0.039. Um, we're going to set it to be 0.031. And we're just going to hit OK. And so now we're going to um, close up the two ends and we're going to attempt to close the shape. If it doesn't, now that it's closed, we have a solid shape here. This sort of squiggle type thing. And if you want, you can always go back and change this to be much less, but we like 30 thousandths. I'm going to select the entire thing. I just clicked and dragged a box over it, select the whole thing. And I can just drag this. I can just drag this here onto my part. And so now with this on my part, I can create an extrusion and one thing I want to do um, before that is to just close off these ends. So um, we can just select the line and drag a line all the way across here 
and do the same thing on the other side. You could also just project this edge, but um, it's much easier to just do this. And come over here to where it says trim and just kind of trim off these lines. You don't need them um, because they're off the surface of the part. And the squiggle is not, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it's just an element that we're using in, in our tread. And so once you uh, delete all these, now you'll have a closed shape that's on top of your tread only. And that's, that's really what you want. So I'm just going to hit OK. And I can come to Solid, Extrude. And I can select um, all or part of the tread pattern. We can just start with this for now. And I'm going to extrude upward. And I can really make this, um, you know, whatever dimension I feel is necessary. I think um, maybe 30 thousandths is a good amount. Uh, though it is a lot, I think it's definitely um, enough to maybe grab the sand. And what I want to do is come back to this and try to make a rectangular pattern. So I can select for the pattern type a feature, which is going to be what we just worked on. And for the direction, we can just use um, the Z axis. And you can just drag this down. And when you drag it down, you're going to see that it, it patterns it uh, very much like before. And we just want to make sure we're not over the edge here. I might have to bring it back a little bit. And I think that's uh, pretty much pretty much where we want it. I'm going to hit OK. And now we have our tread pattern. And the great thing about this is it's going to add some more um, some more uh, gra grabbing ability and gripping ability for our tread. And we're going to see once this updates um, what that's going to look like. And hopefully this sort of flat shape paired with the uh, new treads um, are going to add a lot more uh, pulling force to our design. Thank you.